Good afternoon, folks. Ari here from Direct Auto Outlet in Fair Oaks, California. We are behind the wheel of our 2022 Ford Maverick Lariat today, and this will be a video overview of the radar cruise control and the lane keep assist. Part of the uh, Copilot 360 active system through Ford, uh, this Lariat uh, with the first edition package, although the first edition package has no bearing on these safety features, this one just happens to be a first edition package. I uh, just kind of want to go through some of these safety options and show you how they work. We are getting on the freeway here. Um, it is not too congested, so not too horrible of a time to try this. We're going to go ahead and set our cruise control and show you how the vehicle behaves on the freeway. And then we'll get off the freeway, go on a road where it has a few twists and turns and you can see how the vehicle steers itself. First and foremost, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get to 70 miles per hour and we'll go ahead and set our cruise control first and foremost. So right at about 70 miles per hour, we'll go ahead and hit our cruise control button here and then we'll hit the up arrow to set. And as you see over here, uh, you, have, you have your two green lines over there for the left lane and right lane showing that uh, the vehicle is actually steering all on its own right here. As you can see, my hands are completely off of the wheel. We'll go ahead and raise the cruise control to 70. Um, once you get close to a vehicle or you approach a vehicle ahead of you, there will be an icon at the end of those, between those two green lines that'll show up as a car is approaching you, and that'll just let you know that a vehicle is getting close. You are able to select your distance from the vehicle ahead of you uh, up to, let's see, one, two, three, four, about anywhere from two to about five car lengths and uh, it'll speed up and slow down for you. So as you can see, I am set on 70 miles per hour currently. And as we get closer to the vehicle ahead of us, it'll slow itself down. As you can see, it's also reminding me to keep my hands on the wheel. And if I don't listen, it'll actually chirp at me. One thing I do like to do is just keep my arm right on the bottom of the steering wheel, just rest it, not really using, to, uh, using it to steer the vehicle whatsoever, just using it to rest my hand on there so that it doesn't keep giving me that reminder. As you notice right now, a vehicle appeared between those two lines, which tells me that the vehicle sensed that there is a car in front of us and is just letting us know. We're gonna go ahead and speed up over here so that we can reach that vehicle. We'll go ahead and set it on 75. We're gonna speed up. Actually, we're going and reaching it right now. The vehicle just slowed itself down, 70, 69, 68, and it is currently also steering itself. It is at 63, 62. Oh, of course, there's a highway patrolman. No, one, no wonder everybody's slowing down. All right, now it's speeding itself up. It is maintaining that specific space that we have designated, which is currently about three or four car lengths ahead of us. It's gradually speeding up, and as soon as the vehicle ahead of us disappeared, it's gonna go ahead and speed itself back up to the speed that I originally set it at 75. I'm going to go ahead and manually slow it down here. And as you can see, it is actually braking for us currently and slowing us down. I'm going to ahead and increase the speed to 60. take over. Again, hands off of the wheel. As you can see, the vehicle is steering itself. It's also slowing itself down and speeding itself up. We're going to go ahead and exit off of this exit. As you can see, once I keep my hands right on the bottom of the wheel there, that warning will not come up on the steering wheel. The steering wheel just needs to sense that your hands are on the wheel. There is a little bit of resistance on the wheel, just wants to make sure that you have not tuned out and zoned out. You do still have to pay attention. The car just slowed itself down there. 55, 54. It's continuing, continuing to slow itself down. And I have not applied the brake yet at all. It is braking all on its own. I did not touch the brake pedal. Vehicle came all the way down to a stop. Now we're going to go ahead and take over manually. Go ahead and 
cancel the cruise control for now. Take over manually, get in the center lane here, and then we'll go ahead and set our cruise again. We'll set it at exactly 45 miles per hour, and we'll completely let go of the wheel. This particular road does have some twists and turns. As you can see, we have a soft right turn coming up. It's on 46, we'll set it on 45. The vehicle is currently steering itself. Soft left turn coming up. And we feel car slowing down ahead of us. The vehicle does sense a vehicle, one merging right ahead of us. The car just brake for itself. I did not perform any operations whatsoever. The vehicle is on co-pilot. It's speeding itself back up because the distance ahead of us did increase. Its goal is to get back up to 45 miles per hour. And we can also indicate left and we have to manually turn the wheel left and get out of that lane. It will not switch lanes for you. However, once I indicate left, if my speed was set on a higher speed, it would have automatically sped up to compensate. But currently the vehicle is steering itself. I am just resting my hand on the bottom of the wheel. I'm not giving the wheel any input whatsoever. see what it does as people are slowing down. It is braking, 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 braking all on its own and I just took over at the very last moment there just because quite frankly I am just a little bit frightened of the system. I am not used to vehicles that drive themselves. I'm sure you do still have to stay alert. This does have uh, the capability of braking and if it feels like you are going to collide with another vehicle, it will, uh, it will break for you, emergency braking. However, um, I don't want to test that theory quite yet. We'll let that happen all on its own one day um, when we least expect it. For now, we'll go ahead and stay alert and continue observing the vehicle. As soon as I can get back up to speed here, I'm going to go ahead and set the cruise to 45. Setting it to 45. Currently is at 40. It cannot go 45, but as it finds distance ahead of it, it will go forward. It is currently braking all on its own. Braking all on its own. Braking all on its own. And the vehicle does give you a chime saying canceled. However, it did break all on its own to a complete stop. I'm sure that's just diverting your attention over in order for you to know that the conditions on the road have changed drastically and for you to take over. Um, I'm sure you get the gist of it. Um, I'll be sure to uh, put out any specific videos if you have any specific ideas or specific things you would like to see. But for now, we'll go ahead and turn around and head back. We do appreciate you taking the time to join us. Uh, we do welcome all of your comments in the comment section, so please do leave your comments. Make sure you also subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you get notified of all of our future videos. We do certainly appreciate your time. And joining us today and uh, we certainly hope to see and talk to all of you soon thank you and have a great day